I ask astrologer Susan Miller to do my horoscope. Miller writes astrology columns for magazines and has a website that's viewed 800,000 times a month. What she gave me was a chart 22 pages long. You have Jupiter in the seventh house, so you do very well with partners, people who collaborate with you to help you. This is what's called a cold reading. When you say so much, there's bound to be something in here that'll come true. And of course, there's plenty of flattery. You, uh, you have Venus in the 10th house, making you a very popular um, leader or a uh, personality. Do, do you want me to <laughs> go, sure, go on? Go on ahead. <laughs> in addition, they use warm reading techniques where they say things that are true for everyone. Those three planets in Pisces makes you very intuitive. Who doesn't want to think that they're intuitive? There are certain things you can say about people that most of us think are true just about us. Like, you have an above average sense of humor or you're not living up to your full potential. This is silly. What you're saying about me, you could say about anybody. I'm an independent thinker, intuitive, thorough. But to, to the end of Lots degree. of people believe this about themselves. Yes, uh, but I would give perhaps other people different adjectives to describe them. To show how people fall for this, some years ago for Good Morning America, I had an astrologer do a chart on a mass murderer, Ed Kemper. Let me pass these out. And then I gave it to these students, saying. telling them it was their horoscope. Uh, Charlotte Hunter? Would the mass murderer's horoscope Gregory. capture their personality? You bet. I love me. <laughs> why, why are you laughing? Is it accurate? Yes. I don't know if I was a believer or a non-believer. I was kind of like in the middle. But this is very, most of it is me. How many feel that this came pretty close to capturing you. Okay, I hate to tell you this, but you all got the same horoscope. And I told them whose horoscope it really was. He's a mass murderer. I'm glad I didn't tell anybody about this.